Yeah, what is going on, everybody? We are back with another. <laughs> I'm not even going to edit that out because that's the type of week I've been having. What's going on, everybody? We are back with another episode of From My Experience Podcast. I am your host, Rob, here with the co hostess with the Moses, Erica. What's going on? Nothing much, nothing much. Man. Have, have you had it? Listen, about. this week, <laughs> not even just me, but like me and my friends have had a hell of a week. It has been mm-hmm. absolutely insane, taxing mentally, physically, all kinds of stuff. I don't know what's up with this week. Ha- has your week been okay? Good week? Um, mm. <laughs> It's been all right. <laughs> it's definitely been busy. There's so many emails where so many people just mispronounce, not even mispronounce, misspell my name when it's in the email signature block, you know? Your name um, is difficult. Was, apparently so. I was like, how are you going to spell my name like you're stuttering? I don't understand it. But, what? You know, <laughs> Wait, how do they spell it? Sometimes they do the E-R-R-R-I-C-A. I'm like, whoa, buddy, three R's? That's a little bit much. Erica. Wow. <laughs> and... I like I have a signature block where it said it has my name right there, and I'm just like it's six letters. I was like six first, six layers in my first name, six layers in my last name. I don't see how much simple it could get from there, but yeah, a, a part of me just like just dies a little bit slowly when I get an email back when they just stutter all through my name, and I'm just like okay. Mm-hmm. Reading is fundamental. Um, yeah, you know, and then. Today, I was in line at Ross to return a shirt, and I got bulldozed over by, like, a nine-year-old boy because he was looking at the candy. <laughs> Yo, and yeah. He, they put, they need to, that, the way they have that up front with all the candy yes. and the random assortment of snacks, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I have never, I was just sitting in that line. I was like, I just have to return a shirt. Like, I've been in this line for 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I just want to return my shirt. <laughs> Yo, I just wonder what type of person wakes up and says, you know, I'm going to apply for a job at Ross. Ain't no way, bro. Like, I... No. It probably, it's probably not that stressful, but I think the clutter and the way that store is set up and how stuff is so random would probably drive me crazy. And also, think about, like, how you have to, like, close up before you leave for the day. I have, Who said that I'm cleaning up? Like, the store is a mess. I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> Imagine doing inventory. Hey, oh, my God. <laughs> I couldn't do it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, man. Yeah, but, huh, y'all, this is not a regular episode. We have a special guest we'll introduce in a second. But, boy, the episode after this is going to be filled with foolishness because I have packed up on stories i've been outside a little bit fourth of july passed happy belated fourth of july um and yeah i went on a little little uh adult adventure and got a new perspective Ooh. a new outlook on life we'll share that on the next episode and i'm sure erica has stories too mm-hmm. no? yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe yo you and your elvis show all right without <laughs> further ado <laughs> Ah, we have a special guest in the building. We have the founder of Barter Black. Welcome back, Miss Nicole Murphy. Thank you. (laughs) You two are so funny, and I I really want to know about this adulting uh, (laughs) foolishness that... uh, (laughs) <laughs> has been going on. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man. I'm nervous. <laughs> no, don't be nervous. Okay. It was, <laughs> you know, I'm going to get in trouble. Um, <laughs> At I, least you know. I, I, I'll give y'all the, the short version because this is about you and Barter Black, right? No, I went out of town, and typically when I go out of town to visit family, we all stay at somebody's house. And this time, um, shout out to everybody who's mature and adulting and has a rewards uh, credit card. Uh, I just got on that train about two years ago, three years ago. And, well, I've had them, but I haven't been using them properly. So properly. So I buy groceries and gas, and then I pay it off immediately. So I had like 50,000 points, So and they give me one free night a year. So I got a hotel room, and I only had to pay $5 in taxes. 
for two nights. Oh. So, yeah. So, I did that, and everyone was kind of looking at, oh, you got a house now. You have a house You have money. I'm like, bro, I'll be 40 in December. I'm I'm not sleeping on the couch. I'm not sleeping on the bed you had in your house since I've been in elementary school. My back, yo. I'm not doing this. Um, but no, Air mattress, yeah. Right. So, the, the new perspective I got, you know, uh, <laughs> was just looking at my family and realizing that we old. Like, we are, like where our aunts and uncles were when we were little because like all their kids are growing up and like me and my cousins were standing on one side and then like the new generation came over and like they're in college or just got out of college and I'm like damn yo like bro you old like you (laughs) like this that used to be you not too well 20 years ago when you say 20 years (laughs) ago and you was in your 20s ooh. so um it just gave me new perspective on things um and then my maturity level, because, you know, there, 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 there's this uh, thing thing that I used to thing thing down there. And I was like, I ain't going to do it. Don't don't call. Don't text. Mm-hmm. Just enjoy family. Enjoy your peace. Don't be messy. You know, so it was just a, a, an adult, mature thing. Went to the beach. The beach was very fun. Um, just hanging out with my little cousins. And then it was it was cool because my older cousins were with me. And they're the ones like. They used to take care of me and look out for me growing up. So it was cool for like, mm-hmm. you know, I'll drive, you know, making sure the kids are strapped in. And my aunt, their mom, my aunt was with us. So we all went to the beach and it was just kind of cool to be the one to like hold it down for everybody. Yeah. And just being able to like, even though it was a small thing to me, they're like, man, thank you so much for coming and dealing with the kids and all that stuff. Because, you know, they got them full time. I ain't got no kids. And I was like, <laughs> man, no problem, man, you know. You know, I, I wasn't the, the broken, dusty kid anymore. Like, yeah, I can drive. Y'all got gas money? Like, none of that. Like, <laughs> it was just cool, man. Um, it just reminded me that I need to get away way more mm-hmm. often. Because, yeah. yeah, after we got back from the beach, I went to my hotel room. I was done. I was watching The Shy <laughs> on my tablet. And I was just enjoying the peace in my dark-themed 007 room. Um and I was like, this is this is what I want my life to be like. Like, when I want to get away, I can get away, be quiet, comfortable. Um, and now, actually, um, partially inspired by you, Miss Barter Black, uh, one thing I want to definitely do is look at what I can pass down to the younger generation. Because now is that time. Like, the age they're at now is when I was, like, really bumping my head and making a lot of mm-hmm. mistakes because... People were talking at me instead of talking to mm-hmm. me and trying to educate me. Like, yeah. I would love to sit down with them like, yo, get a rewards credit card. This is how you use it. The stuff you pay for cash normally anyway, use the card, turn around. When when the bill comes, pay it off immediately. As soon as you see the balance pop up or it's processed, pay it off. These points will build up. You can have basically free vacations. Yeah. Don't hurt you. Your credit builds up. You know what I'm saying? And it doubles as an emergency credit card. Like stuff like that I want to teach them. Um and like how I have a index life insurance policy that I'll be able to well now I can borrow against it. None of y'all business, don't ask no questions. But I want to teach some <laughs> stuff like that. So they're, when they're my age, they've had it for twenty years and it's worth half a million dollars. Like stuff like that. So now I'm just like, okay, you're old. I'm not really old, y'all. I just use that, but you're older and it's like what are you gonna do for them now? What knowledge mm-hmm. or wisdom are you gonna impart? So that was my fourth. And we don't eat like we used to. I had one and a half plates and I was done. Oh. For the day. <laughs> done. Tapping out. Couldn't even drink like I that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love it. That was good. That was a that was a good synopsis of what happened. I loved it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I got fussed at when I got back. You didn't call me. I know. That was on no. purpose. That was on purpose. <laughs> you know, trying to whew, stay focused. Stay focused. That's right. So enough about my life. Welcome, bike, <laughs> y'all. If you're not following Nicole Murphy on LinkedIn, you need to follow her. She's highly active. I enjoy her content. She's actually so active on LinkedIn. I didn't realize that it's almost been a year since she's been on the podcast because I see her so often. And she's not one of them annoying LinkedIn people because those people do exist. She has informative posts. So um, you have a very warm and welcoming presence, and I appreciate that. So h- how have you been? Thank you. <laughs> that was great. I did, like, sometimes you just don't know things. Yeah. There are people I'm posting, but I don't know people watching. But that, <laughs> thank you so much for saying that. But I have been absolutely 
amazing. We are in the middle of a pivot now. So things are super busy and crazy and all types of things, but I'm excited for what's next. Okay. So for those of those of you who, for those who don't know, can you tell them what Barter Black is? Yeah, so Barter Block is a platform for Black entrepreneurs to exchange goods and services with each other to help them start, grow, and scale their businesses. So basically, um, you're getting good the goods and services that you need for your business to grow. My, my goal is to help us not be solopreneurs and work in our business, but CEOs and work on our business. Mm. I felt that. I think you probably, you said that before and I felt it before. I, I ain't supposed to feel it the same. Cause that's... <laughs> so, okay. So you are relaunching. Yes. So what, <laughs> what, why, why the relaunch? What's going on with the pivot? What's been happening? Yeah, that, that's something. So I have, to you know sit back and a lot of times we we force things to happen in our businesses and um i had to sit back and reevaluate things basically um our previous platform was not providing the support that i had hoped that it was to pro provide for um our members um so i stepped back <laughs> looked at things I uh, actually got accepted into a cohort Ooh, and I told my mentor, thank you, I told my mentor in this cohort, I said, this is the answer for me. I'm either going to, this this cohort is either, either going to tell me I need to stop or it's going to tell me I need to gas it up and go full force. Mm. And two weeks in, it was like, yeah, this this is this is where you need to be. With a little bit of tweaks, we eliminated some barriers, and we are relaunching. You said something that scared me a little bit, but it was honest. I know. I saw it, you. It was honest, and it's true, because I've been there, and usually I end it. You said this is this is like basically do or die. So what... <laughs> now, you know, you told us the last story, because you, you started this during COVID, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. so like you already had like a difficult start and you've been doing this for a while. Mm -hmm. And what what about it had you at a point where like, yo, if this don't work, I'm done because a lot of people out there, I mean, most people never even get started, but there's a lot of us out there who start, don't finish or we start and we get to that point and it's just like, ah, do I keep going? Do I not keep going? And there's just a multitude of factors that just lead you up to that point of like, eh, maybe this ain't for me. So what was that for you? Yeah, I, first I think people just really need to be honest with themselves. <laughs> like, is this going to work or is it not going to work? Am I doing something wrong? So for me, it was that uh, business owners weren't bothering as much as they were. So I'm like, okay, what is going on? So in the cohort, thank goodness, they um, had us do customer discovery which is absolutely amazing. Even if you started your business, I suggest everyone do customer discovery. And what I found, and it's so crazy because these people were actually paying for the service. <laughs> they, were, they were actually paying monthly for the service. But when I got on the phone and talked to them and I'm like, be completely honest with me. Like there was a whole interview thing and sometimes the calls last about an hour. And what I got was, the way the bartering system was set up, so you and I can, you know, exchange on the platform. But what if I don't need what you have right now? Then no one is bartering because it mm. was an exchange for an exchange. Um, and then my first meeting with my mentor in the cohort, she said, okay, what are the barriers? And let's eliminate those barriers. And the barriers were you and I have to have what each other wants at the same time for the same value. And that created a huge barrier for the entrepreneurs that we were you know talking to so now we're changing it and integrating what we're calling trade credits uh, which are going to be barter bucks that you can now go online purchase exactly what you want using barter bucks instead of cash and then there's no exchange the person who does the service for you in exchange for the barter bucks can then take those barter bucks and use them anywhere else in the network so i eliminated that 
direct exchange and I created an indirect exchange, if that makes sense. That is absolutely <laughs> genius. So you created a marketplace. Yes, it is. It's set up like a Fiverr or Upwork type of platform. <laughs> you go on there, you get exactly what you want. Um, for the barter bucks, and then we charge a service fee, just like those top freelancer platforms. That's how we are gener are going to be generating money. Wow, and you you used one of my favorite words earlier, pivot. And sometimes yes. that's and something else you you always on point. Something else you said, <laughs> being honest with yourself. Like I think a lot of people don't want to do that, and people get on me about that. Um, they say uh, like when I just speak the truth, not even in a rude way. When I just actually state facts, Oh, you're thinking negative. Don't speak that into existence. I'm not speaking it into existence. It exists like this. <laughs> this is here right now. So it's like, Basically. I need to acknowledge it and then say to myself, okay, what can I do about it? Can I do anything about it? And then you just, you flipped it. You flipped yeah. it um, in a great and intuitive way as well too. Hmm. Barter Thank bucks. you. I like that name too, Barter Bucks. Hey, how many Barter Bucks you got, bro? Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> how much can I spend today? <laughs> so, um, what has had what what's uh what's the relaunch looking like? Like, what have you had to do behind the scenes to kind of build up to this? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's still just you and the boys. No, oh. no, no, no. Okay. So I've I'm very I I consider myself very creative and I think outside the box like all the time I have so many ideas but barter block is my passion I know that this is going to change the lives of black entrepreneurs and their legacies one um so what I did was I said okay I have to relaunch I need help <laughs> how am I going to get this help so what I did was I coined a new term called crowd bartering similar to crowdfunding where you ask for financial contributions, but instead I ask for your skills, your expertise. Who, who wants to help me rebuild and relaunch this platform? Aww. And surprisingly, like I got so many <laughs> entries or people wanting to help it was absolutely amazing. One thing that it did teach me is when you're ready to hire, you have to plan for that because it's a lot of dedicated um, delegating. It's a lot of planning. It's a lot of meetings. It's a lot of, it's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so if you really want to be a CEO and you really want to hire and build a sustainable business, you have to be ready to be the true manager, <laughs> the true supervisor, the true CEO. So we definitely have a team um behind the scenes that has been helping me for the past two, three months, about three months now. Um, and so we launched on August 12th. Hey. Developers developers are finishing up. <laughs> um, I was able to go through like the onboarding process last week, which was so exciting. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a team now. <laughs> that... I'm still looking though, but it's a team now. <laughs> Ooh, you just said developers. Ooh. Oh, we we going through that. They're with, good though. They're good. Congratulations. We going through that I with Pass the Peas app. <laughs> y'all, if you're going to have an app built, y'all, <laughs> be patient. That's all I can say. You're gonna have to be patient, and you're gonna have to test it. You're gonna have to test those builds. Um, but they those developers are key, man. They're key, and they <laughs> they can make sure you get plenty of sleep or no sleep at all sometimes. <laughs> sometimes that part <laughs> i've been very lucky though because yeah. i've heard some horror stories but i've been super super lucky mm, 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 mm. <laughs> but I i'm glad you're lucky erica tossing to you so hmm so was there ever a point when you first launched barter black or even when we interviewed you the first time back in november that this was something that could have been a possibility for you to relaunch the app and make sure that it becomes fully functional for customers and everything like that? Of, uh, for the, you're saying, have I ever thought about relaunching, changing it yeah. up and relaunching? I did yeah, not. Yeah, before that. <laughs> no, I did not. And let me tell you something that's super important, um, which I don't see a lot of people doing that I made sure that I 
implemented this time is feedback questions mm -hmm. on everything you fill out for us. I'm asking you if you have questions. Um, it, it I have a feedback form. I post that like I, it's anonymous too. So I want to know because the customer discovery interviews that I did a couple of months ago, it opened my eyes to so much. I was like, how come y'all didn't tell me this? <laughs> like, but I feel like I didn't create a space for them to tell me this. So I didn't, and I didn't know that it, I, I saw that the bartering went down, but I assumed that they were okay, I guess, because they were still paying. I'm like, but that's another thing, yeah. too. Um, I actually stopped the subscriptions for mm. the for the last, I guess, three months, maybe. So it it's not right for you right now. Let's just, I'm about to redo this, and then we're going to come back to it. So that's I'm basically beautiful. starting all over. But yeah, I did not think about the relaunch. But the crazy thing is, Barter Bucks, I had that name when I started. Hmm. I just did Aww. not know where to use it, <laughs> which is crazy. <laughs> now I do. Not, not knowing if fast forward is right here. Right. Timing. Like, okay, if I only did this, yes. <laughs> oh, man. And since you went through this discovery and you're relaunching and everything, how... How do you feel about when the relaunch and where do you see Barter Black now that we're almost up on a year, so, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I posted the other day, I've never felt so confident about where this business is than I do today. Like it's the feeling is absolutely amazing <laughs> um, to like to feel this great about something that hasn't even launched yet but um i'm very the thing is i feel like i'm still in the education part of it i'm still educating people especially since we've changed it from the normal bartering that people know you and i mm -hmm. now it's different because it's like an ecosystem you use her services, she uses his services. So it's like going around um, in a, a real ecosystem. So I'm having to re-educate because people are like, okay, I know how your first platform worked, but what do you mean barter bucks? And how could I use this? And, you know, there's so many questions. But what I did with that is um, I posted, I, I don't remember what I said exactly, but I said, if I said barter buck, um, was a bartering platform where you can use trade credits to get the goods and services that you need for your business. I said something like that. And I said, what would your next question be? Mm -hmm. And I got so many questions and those, that's my, that's my frequently asked questions that I'm putting on the platform. <laughs> so that's like, smart, smart. They, I mean, yeah. they gave me all the questions that I would get from people and I'll, you know, have to try to figure out how to, minimize how I say what barter block is, but I'm really into involving everyone in every step of the process this time. Wow. wow. You're, you, you, uh, mm. you have me thinking about some of my favorite brands and companies. Cause I online shop more than I should. And everything you're talking about is what I love about those brands and why, yeah. even if there are better options or cheaper options, I go back to them because I feel like they care about what I say and they value the fact that I am doing business with them and I'm not just a number, another number. So what you're talking about, incorporating that feedback and then putting that mm -hmm. into frequently asked questions, I love that because I'm one of them people. I'm going to look at the FAQs because I don't always want to yeah. chat and email. <laughs> Y'all take three days to get back to me. I definitely ain't calling you. Um, so that that is great. Like the growth and the evolution and you taking a step back and getting over that hump. Not saying that you had this. I know that I've had this. Man, I'm good. I'm doing this right. It's them. It ain't me. It's them. They dumb. They don't know how to do this. Like it's simple. It. It's simple. What you mean? Like, bro, it's a no brainer. It's a no brain. No, like you. I posted this on Twitter the other day. I said, growth. Part of growing and maturing is realizing that your perspective isn't the only one that matters. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you did exactly Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Like, what's going on, y'all? Y'all talk to me, and you talk talking for hours on the phone, getting these, getting that feedback. 
yeah. over 60 people this time. Oh my I've done it before. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> and I still go back as the developers are doing things. I'll go back because, you know, I typed everything up that, you know, everyone said. So I'll go back and look and say, okay, did we include this? Is this, you know, in it? But yeah, the feedback is so, so important. And it definitely, I think, I love telling people when we've talked or certain things that you've contributed or if you've commented or you've asked a question, I say, you're going to see it on the site and you're going to know that, that, you know, you contributed to that part of the platform. So I love that. That's dope. That's dope. Erica, you got yeah. another question. I don't know if I cut you off or not. Oh, no. Um, I guess maybe this one. Uh, can you share a moment or a story to us about a time this past year that you didn't think something would happen, but it did positively? Well, this one, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this entire year. Yeah. <laughs> this, this entire year, like so much. And it's weird because like I told you, I've never felt so confident, but it's crazy because people are seeing the change in Barter Black and it hasn't even launched yet. And people are calling me and I'm like, mm -hmm. wait a minute. <laughs> What? Well, hello. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, <laughs> I need to launch first. Uh, I love that part. Um, but I've been more involved in, um, I guess, conferences and things of that nature. Speaking, like I have a speaking engagement in Richmond, yeah. um, the beginning of August, um, at the Black Street Conference. Um, I'm pitching in St. Louis you know, in next month. You and, like, them, it, you and them pitchings. Pitchings. It, I, I, I was yeah. going to say pitches, but I didn't want it to sound like the wrong. Right. You, know, <laughs> you still with those pitches. Like you, I think last like, time you said it's kind of like Nike. Just do it. Just Yes. And I'm still that way because I still get super nervous. Uh, but once they say, you know, oh, you're a finalist, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, those those opportunities, like someone reached out in Kansas City to be our strategic partners, like those types of things oh. I did not expect, but are happening. And I'm like, okay, yes, sis, you need to hire a little bit more. So I am <laughs> I I have help, but I still I need more help at this point. Because I'm afraid <laughs> like, when we launch um yeah, I'm just excited, but on the back end, we still need more help. <laughs> you, you touched on something, um, and I was going to ask you this. What types of partnerships are you seeking, if any, that would be a benefit to Barter Black and its members? Yeah, so any partners, um, any good partners would be people who have communities of Black entrepreneurs. Those would be our, our partners. Um, one of the things that... Um, we're going to be doing after we launch is reaching out because you know I, I apply for grants pitch competitions accelerators i apply for everything um and i don't always get everything and that's mm -hmm. okay because it's just not my moment but one of the things that we're doing and there every email is flagged that says unfortunately mm -hmm. you did not get picked i am going to be emailing them about two three months after the launch and asking them to include Barter Black as a resource. You can't fund everyone, so why don't you give them a space where they can get the goods and services that they still need, even if they don't have the money. So you mm. can either sponsor them, <laughs> Smart. or you can you know, mention us in those emails, unfortunately, but we have a resource called Barter Black that you can reach out to um so we're going to be doing that so any organization who supports black entrepreneurs black founders um who know that their entrepreneurs on their in their community are mostly solopreneurs who need help in their business mm -hmm. who want to become the ceo um those are going to be our partners Whoa. and i have a list <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you can put us on the list. I'll definitely put something in the episodes. You can record something or I can record something and I'll play it and definitely put it um, in our links because we interview a lot of solopreneurs and they have those yes. aches, those pains, those struggles. I've been through it. 
Um, and yeah, just being able to have a resource to where you can get someone to do those things for you that you don't like to do. Like I delegate all the time. Like when Erica came aboard, Hey, hope you love graphic design. Here you go. Here are all the passwords, usernames. You need a premium account? Great. Here. Here's all that. Do that. You got like, it. That's, that's me. So, um, and the important thing, like you said, and this is like part of being the CEO you have to delegate because you need the time. Like mm -hmm. you need the time, the time to work on these things. Like I, I'm so thankful for Erica because she's, she might not always feel like it, but she alleviates so much pressure because she, yeah. she there's parts of the show that are on her that I don't have to think about. And I can fill that space with something else. And it's it wonderful. Is, it's a huge blessing and a huge, I'm so thankful for her. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to definitely uh, get me some barter bucks because there's some other things I'm thinking about. And you know, obviously, I have a podcast, so if anyone wants to hop right. on or do anything, I can do that. So yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that that is a brilliant idea, though. Those unfortunately <laughs> emails. Hey, put me in there as a resource. You know, them people, and yeah. that that's beautiful too because like you get nothing from rejection. Like sometimes right. you get feedback, but some, most of the time you don't get any feedback, but it's cool if it's like, oh, well, what is this resource they talking about? They're still right. trying to, they're still actually trying help. to help me. Yeah. yeah. So dang, yeah. you're a mastermind. Yo, do you have, do you have like yeah. a board where you just write down your ideas? <laughs> you laughing, but like, it... no, I don't. I, there's too many. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> Do it. It's too many. <laughs> you, you you remind me of my boy Carl Van. I'll be telling him that. We'll talk we'll start talking about something and I'll be like, bro, that's brilliant. You need to write that down. And he started a list. Mm. So I think you should do that because I would have I would have never thought about that strategy. Ever. Yeah. Wow. I like how you don't <laughs> let the door close on you and barter black with that. No, no, because, and I tell people um, to apply, 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 but they never know what's going to come out of that because I've, even though I haven't gotten grants or been, you know, invited to pitch sometimes, I still get emails like, oh, there's another pitch competition we would like to invite you to, mm -hmm. or I've had a blog article written about me from not getting the grant so oh. there are always opportunities out there and it, you want your name in their system because they're always mm. looking back at that system to see who fits the bill for certain things and you get invitations for things as well not all the time but it does happen i only got one more question but before i get to that well yes this is an important question highly and highly highly important question actually um We've all get these spam phone calls and spam emails and customer satisfaction, which clearly is on the forefront of this relaunch, is important. So do you offer any protections against people, I mean, for people who may be dissatisfied with their service or if anything happens like with the with an exchange? Yeah. So if that happens, they can um, contact us about it. We do have uh, mediation first and then we'll just see what happens. Okay. Oh. oh, everybody froze. <laughs> Sorry, we had a little technical snafu. Apparently, I have the internet where the hamster is running on the wheel, powering it, according to Erica. Uh, but the question I asked before we were interrupted by that service, um, do you offer any protection against people, I mean, for people who were dissatisfied with their service? Yes. So they can submit um, a dispute if they have one. Um, we'll most likely do mediation if it's not a quick, you know, resolve. Um, but then after that, um, someone else will come in and help. But the good thing is that when you purchase something on the platform with a seller, um, they don't get the barter bucks credited into their account until you accept what they actually did nice. so it's kind of like an escrow where you know they have to complete the job you have to accept it and then they'll be credited the barter bucks oh that's that's absolutely perfect i don't, I don't have any more questions erica you got any more questions 
Uh, just one, a mantra that you live by to tell to the audience. I know that you mentioned that you don't allow for doors to close on you <laughs> at all. And you find opportunities through anything, which is amazing. But another mantra, if you have one. I'm going to say in this season, I'm going to say X big. Just X. I... <laughs> I um I was on a call, so I sent out five partnership emails this week. One of them scheduled a call with me, and I was absolutely shocked that they actually scheduled a call with me. Got on the call. I mean, we're partnering on more things than I expected, and this partner has almost 100,000 people in their community. And I'm like, what the... <laughs> What in the world? <laughs> wow. And I have about 500. <laughs> so like, Beautiful. You just never know. So ask big. And I mean, I ask people to help me because you know how people say there was a there was a meme or something going around about you ask me for help, but you something you you want help from me but you won't help me or something like that mm -hmm. but what i've realized is that we're not really asking for help we're expecting people to help us and not telling them how we want them to help us so i'm <laughs> every week i'm asking for something because you're not <laughs> going to tell me that i didn't ask <laughs> you literally and, and y'all just to be very clear I think you put it on LinkedIn. You put it somewhere. You like, uh, I'm relaunching soon. Who podcast can I get you to say like that? But she basically was like, yo, if you have a podcast, I can hop on. I was like, bet. <laughs> a clear ask, right? A lot of people don't ask. I forgot like, about that one. Yeah, I did. I asked. I'm going to ask. It, even if it makes me nervous after, you know, I posted or just, just throw it out there. You never know what you're going to get. That's true. And don't be afraid to tag people. I tag brands and companies and stuff all the time. And you'd be surprised. Like, they reach out behind closed doors and you never uh -huh. know what opportunities it can open up. And like you said, um, ask big. Ask I big. I agree. I agree. Definitely. Well, Nicole, before we let you go, is there anything else you want to share with the audience? Anything we may have missed? Anything you want to cover? Um. So we are launching August 12th. Uh, but we are having a virtual launch party on August 11th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can go to barterblack.io and find that link to register. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Um, one of the things I want it to be like a party field, but I want it to also what we're going to talk about is um, I have a panel and we're going to talk about mindset burnout and grief doing entrepreneurship because i think that those mm. three things are very important and they can hurt us in our business um so i want to make sure that we talk about those things and let entrepreneurs know that they're not the only ones going through it we're all going through something yes. your girl cries on a regular it's, it's hard out here <laughs> it's, a, it's hard and i want people to know that just because you see me posting about this launch don't think that i'm not going through things in the background like some yeah. certain things i'll tell you but you don't need to know everything but we're going through things and i think that that's one of the reasons why we need to start hiring in our business because something will happen and then that may be the end of it just because we can't function doing both or worried about both so um august 11th is the virtual launch party and we're launching august 12th Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Um, I will make sure to put that link in the description. Nicole, thank you again for joining us. Thank you for the ask. Yes. <laughs> thank you for the ask. Uh, <laughs> wow, twice we had when I had you on twice. You're a recurring guest. We're going to definitely do this again, and we wish you all the best. Um, and I'll make sure anything that I can repost and post in my group or on my socials, I'll definitely do that. I'm a big advocate of hey. If you support me, you don't always have to spend money or even subscribe to my service. A share to your network. You may reach someone that I don't know that you know that may need my service or maybe a connection for me. Like it's, it takes five seconds to share something, y'all. That's that's all I got to say about that. But um, 
Y'all, until next time, take care of yourselves physically, mentally, and financially, and we'll catch y'all. Peace. <laughs>